So I've got a really interesting comment here on my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the comments that come through and I try to answer all of them. It was in reference to the new Apollo solar generator. With four of them, you can get 12 kilowatts or 12,000 watts output. And as well, each one of them has a 5.4 kilowatt hour battery. So it's about 21.5 kilowatt hours of battery capacity, which is very significant. You can add more batteries and the solar input is 4.4 kilowatts on each of them. But what they were referring to is they said that you could get a 16,000 watt generator from Generac, a thousand gallon propane tank, and a 10,000 watt hour battery backup, and 2,000 watts of solar for $10,000 cheaper than you can run the Apollo setup. That may be the case. I'm not disagreeing with that. And then he said you can run that for over a year without grid power. And I just wanted to break this down real quick so people have an understanding because generally there is a lack of understanding about this. I'm not saying that he's wrong, but a 10,000 watt generator from Generac uses on average 2.5 gallons per hour of operation. And it will fluctuate a little bit on how much you're drawing. So if you're just running simple things, it's gonna use a little less propane. Whereas if you're running it really hard, it's gonna use a little bit more propane. And that's where we get the average of 2.5 gallons per hour of operation. For a 24 hour period, that would be 60 gallons. So if you have a 500 gallon propane tank, that's gonna give you about seven days of runtime. Propane tanks are filled between 80 to 85%. When you buy them from a gas station or from Home Depot or wherever, they're at 75% full generally. And when you have a company come fill up a stationary tank, they usually fill it to 80 to 85% full. So if we assume that the 500 gallon propane tank has 400 gallons in it, which is 80%, and that we're using this 10,000 watt generator, not the 16,000 watt, so it's gonna be even more fuel efficient than the 16 that he referenced, then that would give us seven days of runtime at 60 gallons a day. Now, generally right now, it varies greatly by area and time of year. Propane on the cheap side is $2 a gallon and probably closer to $3.50 a gallon in other areas. So if we just call it $2.50 a gallon, that's gonna cost you $1,000 in order to fill it up. Now, the reality is you're probably not gonna have to fill it up once a year, and the benefit is that it automatically turns on, but that also doesn't factor in the cost of the installation, the cost of the maintenance, which is the biggest thing, and then the refueling. My focus has been a long-term emergency backup power and off-gridding or even homesteading, and that's why I like the solar approach, because the sun is out every day, but sometimes there's clouds. That's where the backup generator is a very useful tool to back up the solar. Because for, at least in my house, the solar can run everything. But when there's poor weather for many days on end, then the solar panels just don't perform. And that's when you need to recharge the batteries. And that's why it's so important to have the batteries be big enough to be able to run all of your needs for at least two days is what I recommend. That's not gonna be possible for everybody. And all the heat in my house is done with propane with the exception of the mini splits that I installed. I can run electric heat and mini splits are one of the most efficient ways to get that heat. So in the worst case scenario, I can still get heat, but I need to have good sun. So there's some trade off there. There's not any absolutely perfect system without ridiculously high expense. And I'm going on a tangent here, but the point was a thousand gallon propane tank with a 16 kilowatt generator is not going to last one year from my calculations or from my experience or from talking to lots of other people. I did a backup system outline for a customer here in Idaho. They are up in a mountainous area where they do get some snow and they need to have reliable backup. They have a 500 gallon propane tank and they told me that that will last them a week in normal usage. So that's not running it super hard and that's just running their basic comfortable needs. Very similar to that, I've been told by dozens if not hundreds of other people that that's been their experience as well. So I'm only speaking from that. Their situation may be different and I appreciate the comment, but I wanted to give some clarity on this for most people because it is a question that comes up. I do recommend a propane generator as a backup to solar and the solar should be sized to run all of your essential needs and or your ability to be off grid so that way you're 100% self-reliance. That's my focus is self-reliance. And especially over the long term, I wanna be able to do that 
after an economic collapse or massive flu that goes around or EMP threat, whatever it is. I want to be prepared for those long-term events. And if I'm prepared for that, then the short-term events are very easy and very comfortable. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this answered your question. If you have more questions, please comment on the YouTube videos, or you're more than welcome to shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. See you all in the next video.